Even Julius Caesar's betrayal by Brutus pales in comparison. I just, I... Hi everyone, welcome back to the Strawberry Loli channel. So as you can tell by the title, I accidentally hauled a bunch of Kate products, 7,000 yen worth to be precise. I can explain, okay? So I literally was only planning on picking up one new product from their new Chameleon Parade collection, which is their newest limited edition collaboration with a collage artist that goes by the name of Q... T-A? Q-ta? I don't know exactly how that's supposed to be pronounced, so I apologize. Like I was saying, I literally was planning on only picking up one singular item from this collection. Actually, no, that's a lie. I was planning on picking up zero items, okay, if we're gonna keep it 100% real. Um, when they first announced the launch of this collection on social media, I took a look at everything. You know, everything looked gorgeous and ornate as usual, but I felt like none of the items were anything that revolutionary. As pretty as everything was, I knew that most of the things I already had. And then also like the big draw, the big star of the show, which would be the six pan eyeshadow palettes. I just didn't feel myself gravitated towards those color stories in general. They're just a little bit too muted, too pastel looking for my taste. I'm sure that they would appeal to a lot of other people, especially here in Japan or the average East Asian consumer in general. But with me, you guys know, if I'm gonna wear color, I really want it to be like saturated, rich jewel tones. And the formula as well, I tend to go for more pigmented Western brands like Odin's Eye. I had made up my mind pretty early that I wasn't going to be really dipping my toes into this collection. But then you know what happened? I found myself in the drugstore on a rainy Sunday afternoon. My fingers get to swatching. You know what they say, idle fingers do the devil's work and that's exactly what they did okay i got to swatching fell in love with one of the um what's it called liquid color drops i think this is like a totally new formulation so it's not just special colors that they released for this collection i think the entire formula itself is new to kate so yeah i fell in love with the red one i'm like that's exactly what i've been looking for for a while now let me grab it really quickly and would you believe it i accidentally bought the wrong product. So imagine my surprise when I got home and I realized that I actually bought one of the metallic jewelry liquid eyeshadows instead of the jelly colored drops like I had intended. But can you blame me though? Because look at this, okay? Not only are these exactly the same size, they are both called EX2. And now obviously where I went wrong is that I failed to read closely the name of the actual product. But yeah, they're both called EX2 and they are both the exact same size. So I had to go back outside in the pouring rain to get the correct EX2 of the jelly color drops because by this point I'm fixated on it, right? So I had to go back and get it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. And of course, you know how the rest of this story goes, okay? Do I even need to elaborate? I'm standing there in the store for the second time and I figure like, well, we've already came this far, so might as well pick up two more things that I've been having my eye on from Kate for a while now. So I realized that like, I guess it's been a while since I picked anything up from Kate and the reason for that is not because um it's not because i'm not a fan of kate i actually i have consistently sung kate's praises on this channel they put out consistently great quality stuff and it's only getting better and better with these new elaborate like artistic collaborations but the thing is like every time i have some sort of coupon to either the drugstore or the makeup store inside the department stores that carry kate kate is always one of the brands that for some reason is excluded from all of these deals and coupons and promotions i don't really know why probably because kosei is the devil <laughs> kosei is kate's um parent company and they are not cruelty free so boo kosei but that being said kate does put out consistently bomb products which is probably why another reason i subconsciously avoid buying things from them because every time i loosen up and buy just one thing from kate this happens okay i fall into the rabbit hole but since we're here okay we came all the way here so f it let's try everything out this is the devil that started it all today the jelly color drops in e x2 and it's just called red k from the chameleon parade collection and it's just this beautiful brick red shade that is multi-purpose so you can use it on your cheeks your eyelids i even saw on one of their models they put it on her ear i'm just gonna demonstrate it for you on my cheeks today okay like kate we don't have time for your marketing shenanigans goes on pretty pigmented right but as you can see it has a jelly consistency it kind of clumps up but don't worry because that stuff blends right out very smoothly it is a little bit of a tacky consistency so if you don't like that then consider yourself warned 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I just I, I removed everything on my cheeks and I'm gonna start over because um, I think the problem is I had some powder on my face from before and I think that was causing this jelly drops formula to really break up and be really patchy like no matter what I did it was breaking up really badly on me but when I was swatching this on my hand in the store it was not like that at all it blended out very smoothly so let's try take two so again I removed everything all the makeup that was on my cheek area so this time it should be a lot smoother I think without the powder underneath which is good you know like trial and error I feel like I'm glad we discovered this early so that I know how to use this in the future or I know what products not to pair this with I'm kind of in shock right now because that took so long to fix and when I say fix, it's not even fixed like you can see it's so patchy and weird but like I'm telling you every single time that I try to go in to blend it even just really lightly on the edges with my finger it just turns into a total disaster I don't know how else to describe it like every time if I try to blend this portion in the middle here it's just gonna lift straight off on my finger I've never encountered such an unintuitive hard to use formula in my life when you first apply this on your skin it's like oh okay nice cooling smooth jelly formula right but then the moment that your finger comes in contact with it it turns into super glue consistency so sticky so unblendable i'm not kidding you i've been sitting here for the past 15 minutes trying to mess with this yeah i don't know what to say you guys this is so far left of what i was expecting from this product i mean i'm just shocked because it looked so promising when i swatched it on my hand which i know your hand is not the same as your face but like still i can see the potential and it looks kind of okay on camera but i'm telling you this looks absolutely crazy in person and the stickiness level does not go down whatsoever even after the product is completely dried it's still like literal glue it feels like but okay we have to move on we can't stay on this forever so let's go to um the one that i bought by accident ex2 metallic jewelry liquid eyeshadow let's pray to god that this one performs at least marginally better so this one like ugh, i had to buy the most boring color by accident i couldn't even buy one of the cute colors It's just a silver glitter eyeshadow, but whatever. Let's use that to spruce up the center of my lids. This is a very like gray toned glitter, so it doesn't exactly match my warm fiery red look that I have on today, but you know, just for casual demonstration purposes. Okay, this formula I can totally rock with. It's very, very smooth, very blendable. You can do um, a really thin layer and then build it up to whatever intensity that you like. But yeah, this one is totally fine. Behaves just like any other run-of-the-mill liquid eyeshadow. Put some on my tear bags too, just to make it match to the top lid. I actually quite like that. I don't think this is worth the price at all. Um, so this was 1980 yen with tax. That's very, very steep. Especially considering that the eyeshadow palette, like the whole eyeshadow palette with the six... Um, powder eyeshadow shades is 2750 yen the fact that this is almost 2000 yen for a single liquid eyeshadow is kind of a joke to me but anyway at least i can get use out of this um it is like the most boring shade that they had available which is silver but by the same token it's also the most versatile right so no problem whatsoever with that this one checks out completely in terms of performance let's move on to the kate lip monster lipsticks in the souffle matte formulation i think this came out near the end of last year so the regular lip monster from kate is kind of like a cult favorite it's just their regular bullet lipstick in a classic glossy formulation i've never owned any of the original kate lip monsters personally but i can tell from swatching in the stores that they kind of remind me of the rmk airy comfort airy touch lipstick series which if you've been following me for a while you know that i purchased almost all the colors from that line at one point i think three or four years ago and i'm still working on those lipsticks to this day like they're not anywhere near being done i don't need any new bullet lipsticks is the moral of the story but somehow when it comes to a liquid matte formulation of a lipstick i'm always in need of those so here we are now the thing i really don't like about these and like one of the reasons that i was holding out on buying anything from the lip monster line for so long is honestly because the packaging is so basic and plain i mean like the classic black casing is fine with me that's kind of like 
Kate's signature, but the fact that there is literally no distinguishing marks on it whatsoever, that I just, I, I really, really wish that they did something more with this packaging but nevertheless but nevertheless i did pick out two shades that i've been having my eye on for a while now first we have m01 shinku no yami which translates to crimson darkness and indeed this is just that classic blue based vampire like red makes your teeth look really white And I also had to pick up M04 Ghost Moon, which is that classic rich orangey terracotta that I stay rocking always, okay? The great thing about this formula is that you can apply it on in extremely thin layers, which is perfect for helping you create that Korean beauty popsicle lip where the color is more concentrated on the inside of your lips and you fade it out as it moves out towards the edges. I would describe this as a hard matte formula akin to what you would typically see in a western liquid matte lip while remaining as comfortable and breathable as possible which is great and actually makes it superior in my opinion to many western formulas it gives you that classic like dried down matte look a hard matte as opposed to a soft matte which is what i would classify most korean matte lips under where the texture is much more marshmallowy and soft and tends to sit and slide around on your lips more but the positive trade-off there is obviously that you get much more of that comfortability factor all right so that is all i have for you from kate this was a wild roller coaster ride of a video that i was not expecting yeah i was not expecting that curveball in the beginning with this jelly drops jelly color drops completely threw me for a loop i'm not joking i must have sat there for at least 15 to 20 minutes you guys trying to get this to work on my cheeks it looks like somewhat okay right now because of the ring light but i'm telling you in person this looks absolutely crazy and I can't even blend it out for the life of me. Every time I try to blend it, it just lifts off in all the places that I don't want it to lift off from. It's still kind of sticky, although like not as bad as it was before. I really don't know what to say about this one. I was so looking forward to this. Run as quickly as you can away from this formula. If you see it in stores, if you're tempted because of the design and the packaging, no, don't do it, girl. Don't do it. The promo pictures, the demonstration reels that Kate has on their social media is a straight up lie. My skin is not even that textured. That's the crazy thing. I have like relatively smooth skin, right? And I don't really have large pores or any of those. Like I don't have a bunch of pain points when it comes to my skin so the fact that i was not able to make this blend out or work on my skin at all no matter what i did i went in with my fingers i went in with a brush i even used a q-tip at one point i even gave up on blending all together and just used this applicator i thought maybe you're just supposed to spread it around until it's satisfactory looking with the applicator and then not touch it afterwards but like from what i can tell there is no special application technique it's supposed to be a relatively intuitive liquid jelly blush formula and it just is it went so left you guys i'm like i'm reeling i'm perplexed like this is this reaction is i have no words it might go down in history as one of those unsolved mysteries if you're looking for this red translucent like flushed glass skin effect that i was hoping this product was going to give me save yourself the trouble and the money and just go get can makes cream cheek in um i think the name is like candy apple red or it might even be the first shade zero one in that entire lineup so just go get the can make which is what i should have done but no i wanted to try out the special collaboration special limited edition blah blah and look where it got me okay so this one absolute trash probably the worst thing that i've ever tried on my channel ever in the history of strawberry loli i can't i can't believe i'm even saying these words like kate even julius caesar's betrayal by brutus pales in comparison i just i okay the three other items that we tried out today though they they checked out totally fine this one the metallic jewelry liquid like i said i don't think it's worth the price by a long shot but you know if you're interested in this collection if you're interested in this collection in particular if you really like the artwork and you want to pick something up as more of like a collector's piece 
go ahead and get one of these if it floats your boat it's a very thin buildable formulation it's very like impactful in terms of the metallicness but the glitters themselves are very finely milled they're not super chunky or overwhelming so this would work for pretty much anyone and then the lip monster matte souffle i already knew i already knew that it was going to be everything that i wanted and more in a matte lip formulation i'm actually kind of glad that um you know aside from the whole jelly drop fiasco i feel like ultimately this was a happy accident this kate hall here because these two shades like a true red and a terracotta are exactly the type that i wear the most often in a matte formulation it's definitely one of the most breathable and comfortable matte lipstick formulations i've ever tried so lightweight so buildable um i don't have time today to do like an hours long wear test because i gotta get ready for bed soon but just to show you pretty transfer proof right i mean you can see a faint outline but i pressed hard on this paper this is straight up better than the rouge dior forever liquid formulation that i picked up earlier this year yeah we're gonna talk about that more in a future video about products that i don't recommend which this has now topped the list of but anyway i think that's enough excitement for today um if you live outside of japan and you would like to pick up any of the items that i tried or mentioned today i will try to find links to the ones that are available on yes style and maybe amazon i'm still trying to get my amazon affiliate code approved so we'll see about that but yeah i do have a general discount code with yes style it's just berry gang in all caps if you shop from there and would like to support me i would appreciate that very much everything will be linked down below if i can find them i can't promise thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next one bye